Okay. Three, two, one, one, two, three. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Uh, this is uh, a particularly strange video for me, and let me explain exactly why. You may have noticed that I have been away from the community for about six days. Uh, I haven't been uploading, haven't been doing anything, and uh, that's because we went to a party on a Saturday night, or Saturday day, and then in the evening, when I was climbing onto a boat, I slipped and uh, split my head open. <laughs> Uh, and also terribly bruised my leg. I have spent three days in hospital, uh, in and out, where they've said that I, I, you know, I obviously had to get five stitches in my head and also uh, fractured a bone in my ear, so I can't hear out of, uh, out of my right ear right now. So apparently it's gonna fix itself within two months, uh, so I might be uh, half deaf for, for that long. And let's uh, take, take a little look-see. I don't know how bad it looks. To be fair, I've never actually seen the bandage. I gotta have it cleaned every two days. Uh, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, why I'm making a video today is because I didn't want to leave you guys in the dark. I wanted to upload something, you know, I always want to keep on top. And hey, there's some really good Halo news. So this is going to be completely unedited, as unedited as possible, because I need to lie down and rest in a minute. But I just wanted to talk about the Mega Brands vote for Halo Hero Series 16. If you didn't already know, Halo Hero Series 16 had a vote on which figure out of four made it into the line. And there were four available options. Thrall Slayer, which honestly was my favorite, uh, Haunted Helmet, Spartan CQB, and a Flood Infection Form, or Flood Combat Form. Uh, I don't know if the word is unfortunately, you know, the Haunted Helmet won, so I can't say unfortunately because congratulations to the 10,000 people that wanted that, even though you could vote every day, so it's probably a little less than that, but still thousands of people wanted Haunted Helmet, so I'm very glad you got what you guys wanted. You know if you see me on Twitter or anywhere else, I'm Monkey Boy, Vote Thrall Slayer was my campaign slogan, but uh, you know, I wanted Thrall Slayer because I knew it would be totally new molds across his body and his armor. He might even get a really cool hammer, though it would probably just be a painted gravity hammer. That's what I really wanted. The Haunted Helmet, I know it's... I, I hope, anyway. My hope with the Haunted Helmet is that Mega Constructs makes new armor pieces for the shoulder, chest, and back. That's what I hope. I don't feel like they will. I think it'll be generic reach armor, but still, the Haunted Helmet itself, they have an opportunity to make something really, really special with that helmet. And then some people were bummed out about the Flood combat form, I do get that. Uh, I would have liked to see new articulation Flood, though the main argument made by Halo Podcast Evolved and many other people was that we will end up getting new articulation Flood anyway, especially if Flood come to Halo Infinite, and even so, I, I think it'll happen. This might delay that happening for a while, and some people do also really want a highly detailed Halo Hero version of a Flood because it'll be better painted, all that kind of stuff, printed detailing. Then the fourth one was a Spartan CQB. I've not seen many people disappointed about this. Uh, a couple in my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs domain, but not many. I think in general, people wanted Thrall Slayer, the Haunted Helmet, or your boy, Flood Combat Form. <laughs> I apologize for th this video is definitely not my most professional. I, I like I said, I'm hardly editing it. Um, my own voice sounds completely muffled in one ear, so I, I'll, I'll make it short and sweet, you know? <laughs> so yeah, uh, the total votes in the end, in fourth place, 5% of the votes goes to Spartan CQB, only 1,500 votes, 1,507. Then 28% of the votes went to the Flood Combat Form, that's 7,729 votes. Then third place, 30% of the votes is Thrall Slayer Monkey Boy, 8,433. And in first place, 37%, in a massive 1800 lead is the haunted helmet with 10,211 votes thank you to all the fans who voted over the next few months we'll share behind the scenes content as our designers bring this micro action figure from concept to reality so definitely we're gonna get some uh, more collaboration with the community i hope that we see uh, kevin mcx and yan and all those great people sharing i want to see prototypes i want to see all that kind of stuff and uh, halo hero series 16 you know we're currently on four 14. 
15 will probably release at the end of this year. 16 will probably release spring of next year. So you're probably going to get your haunted helmet spring of next year. And yeah, I guess they've got about maybe less than 12 months to produce it. Maybe like nine months to produce and release. The camera might be falling a bit. Oof. Don't fall down. Yeah, so I, I definitely saw a lot of uh, competitive arguing for each person's case on which figure they wanted. I kept it low key. I just posted a little bit about Thrall Slayer. I wanted it to. I didn't want to uh, influence the vote too heavily. I know the same goes for Halo Podcast Evolved. If you guys haven't seen yet, Halo Podcast Evolved were the ones that announced this competition, and they've done a beastly job covering it since. I think they definitely didn't want to be biased towards one particular figure. So every day they were arguing the case for a different figure. It was a little difficult to argue the case for Spartan CQB. I, I know New Articulation, you know, I Halo 3 armor is my favorite and New Articulation CQB would have been great. In my opinion, I don't know, this vote did seem to divide a lot of people because the figures were very different. And there is nothing wrong with that. That's definitely part of the vote. But I think the fact that one of them was a named figure, one of them was a legendary helmet from Halo Reach, one of them was just a Halo 3 Spartan, and one of them was basically all of the Flood, because if you if you make a Halo Heroes of the Flood combat form, that guarantees like a wave of, of Flood figures and sets coming in the future. So it was hard to decide which one. Um, and I think a lot of people got upset when their figure didn't win or their figure wasn't being agreed on in the forums, basically because each one was quite a passionate uh, plea. I really wanted a very rare Halo Wars DLC character that I obviously will never see the light of day again, and I love, love my brutes, especially my uh, Halo Heroes brutes, Decimus, Atriox, Tartarus, all of those are amazing. So I definitely wanted it for that reason, but I get why people were upset about Flood. I know that G Customs Creations, uh, he really wanted New Articulation Flood to make customs of, and the Spartan Haunted Helmet. It's cool. I I'm just really excited to see what they do with it. Uh, I don't know exactly how they're gonna do it. I don't know if they're gonna make a slightly larger helmet than usual. The worst case would be if they just like painted the Haunted Helmet onto like an EVA. I don't think they'd do anything like that. Uh, but then they also need the flame effect so you're going to have some kind of translucent, transparent material there. It's going to be very exciting to see what they make of it. Yeah, very exciting to see. So that's my piece for today. My little tidbits of knowledge. <laughs> Uh, all of all of my opinions on this uh, MCX fan vote. I think it was uh, established and uh, launched and hosted very, very well by both Halo Podcast Evolved and Mega Constructs. They did an absolute bang up job. The graphics were really nice. The silhouettes were great. Uh, Halo Podcast Evolved's announcement after the silhouettes had been out for 24 hours was really cool. The whole thing was very well uh, conceptualized and established. In my opinion, if I was doing a vote in the future, I would do four named characters, or four Halo 3 armors, or four legendary armors from Halo Reach, or four different new articulation variants of an old articulation figure. I wouldn't particularly, like, divide the fans with so many different weird alternatives, like a Halo Heroes named character versus a legendary armor versus a, a Halo 3 iconic armor versus an entire flood wave. So maybe that did divide fans a bit, but then again, the internet does divide people. I think if there's ever a vote, Everyone will just divide and and start arguing about it. But you know what? That's that's fr that's our freedom of speech, ladies and gentlemen. That's our free will. So uh, I ain't complaining at all. <laughs> I ain't complaining at all. I'm starting to slow my words. I'm gonna go lie down, folks. This was another video with the domain. Uh, just bear with me if you can, uh, because uh, my video releases are gonna be slow while I'm in uh, recovery. And uh, yeah, I can't use headphones for two months. So we're gonna see what the sound design on my videos is gonna be like. Uh, I don't actually know. Bear with me, folks, and just support my old content. Uh, every time you see a video or a post, give it a like. Help me out. Subscribe with the bell on. Whatever you, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Um, and you, uh, what am I saying? 
yeah, uh, I'm going to do a big diorama. I'm going to do a big flood diorama in the next week. I got uh, my Halo Mega Constructs mystery bags. They're going to go on sale in about two weeks' time or maybe a week. And then also, I'm leaving Hong Kong for good in less than three months. So, busy, busy, busy. Thanks for tuning in, folks. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. The domain is signing off to go and get, get myself a cold glass of water. Lie down. <laughs>